Hello everybody, I just want to do this quick encouraging video for the body of Christ and also for the ones got, that are um, not saved yet. I just want to help you and, and encourage you. And I will start with uh, 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. Second Corinthians 5 and 17. It says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. And all things are of God, whom hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ, and have given to us the ministry of reconciliation, to wit, that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself not imputing their, trans, their trespasses unto them, and have committed unto us the word of reconciliation. So, what is what it's saying, like when you get saved and filled with the Holy Spirit, we get into the ministry of reconciling those that are still lost back to God through Christ Jesus. And by God's grace, He give us all spiritual gifts to use for his kingdom to use to help other souls to be persuaded to get saved and filled with the holy spirit that they can be ready for that day when he comes and and um i want to give y'all a testimony by god's grace when i was out um i was out soul winning and Y'all know right now it's like really busy out there. Everybody's shopping and you know celebrating the holidays and things like that. But by God's grace, the Holy Spirit puts it on my heart to go out to be a witness and to you know to go soul winning. And He leads me by His Spirit to the Pacific people that He wants me to meet. And I give all the praise and glory to God. But as I was out there, I was. I was being led by the Holy Spirit, but as I stopped and I just started to, to pray, like not out loud or acting crazy or nothing, but I was praying under my breath. And as I saw all of the people, I had this this sense, I had this 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 compassion for those souls, you know. I said, God, look at all of these people, and it's not many people out there that claim that they are saved and claim that they're sons and daughters of God, they're not out there helping the people be reconciled to God through Christ Jesus, you know? And I just want to encourage the body of Christ, those who do have that gift to go out and to speak to people and to uh, persuade people and, and tell them about Jesus Christ, get out there. You know, pray and allow the Holy Spirit to lead you to those souls. And um, as I looked at the people and watched the people, the scripture come to my mind, and I will read it to you. It's in us. Uh, oh God! It's in Saint Matthew's nine and thirty-seven. This scripture came to my mind as I looked at the people. It says. Then said he unto his disciples, The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of harvest, that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. So we need to be out there. We need more workers. He said, the, the harvest is plenteous. He said, but, but I, don't, I only have a few workers. So I just want to encourage the body of Christ to, to work, to labor. Because the harvest is plenteous. There's souls out there that's, that desire righteousness. They desire God. And it's only a few workers. It's only a few laborers. But I'm not saying like everybody has the same gift and things like that. But if you are in the body of Christ and if you're saved and filled with the Holy Spirit, use your gifts. 
because it's it's for you to use it for the kingdom of God to reconcile the loss back to God through Christ Jesus so they can be saved. You may have that word, you know, you might have that word that they need to hear. You might be that one that God leads you to that person. Because a lot of times when the Spirit of God leads me to somebody, this is what I hear a lot. They tell me, I was just thinking about this. I was just thinking about God. I was just thinking about going back to church, you know. And, it, and some people, when I start to talk to them, their faces just light up. But it's not me, it's the Holy Spirit. So again, the harvest is plenteous, but there are few laborers. We have to get out there and labor for Christ. We have to get out there and labor for those that are lost. Because we are responsible for those souls. God has given us the ministry of reconciliation. And, and I'm so thankful for, for the ministries that God has put me in. I'm thankful for my brothers and sisters, you know, and I pray that they will be strong and, and courageous with the gift that God has given them to reconcile the world back to God through Christ Jesus. And, you know, it's, it's, it's many people out there that are suffering, you know, people are you know, addicted to pornography, addicted to masturbation, addicted to liquor, addicted to weed, addicted to drugs, and addicted to women, and addicted to men, and all of these different things. And 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 that's the same thing that we we was in. Different we was in different addictions and different sins before God came to us and saved us. And not saying you're not going to struggle or something may be a little bit harder for the next person even after you get saved, but do not quit, you know. But I just want to encourage everybody to, to help those souls that are out there, to be those ministers of reconciliation, to use the gift that God has given you through Christ Jesus to reconcile people back to Christ before it's too late. Because hell is real and heaven is real and it's a choice. But we have to do our parts. And I will read that scripture one more time. He said, the harvest is plenteous. But the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of harvest. That he send more laborers. Labor for Christ. Labor for the lost. Labor for your blood relatives. Because Jesus Christ is the only way that they that we can be saved and filled with the Holy Spirit. And we don't have to go to hell, you know? Like, this is real, y'all. This is real 1,000%. No matter what nobody say, you can be religious, you can say this or say that. But this is real and these are the last days. People are dying. Somebody is dying right now. Somebody out there suffering right now, crying, don't know what to do. Somebody's addicted right now to something, right now. But God wants to use us to go out there to speak to them about Jesus Christ, to pull them souls out of the fire, just like the book of Jews said. So I pray that this will encourage you. I pray that it will encourage the body of Christ, and I pray that it will encourage even the lost, even you know the people that don't have Christ. Y'all can come to Christ. Your sins can be forgiven because we all born into darkness. We all children of wrath when we enter into this world because of our sinful nature through Adam. You know? But God wants to save and fill with His Holy Spirit. And He wants to set us free from all of our sins and, and all the things that, that, that separate us from Him. He loves us and He's very passionate of saving souls. He don't want nobody to perish according to his will and, and his purpose. So I just want to leave y'all with this prayer and I pray that it this video